Hi, I'm Ryan Mitchell, Forestry, Wildlife, and Natural Resource Regional Agent with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today we're going to explore the differences between good fire and bad fire in land management, as well as how Alabama Extension can help. Fire has existed as part of our natural system for as long as time. It serves as a natural tool that promotes many native plants, reduces unnatural fuel loads, returns nutrients to the soil, and even eliminates weeds and pests from agriculture land. Prescribed burning is the intentional burning of land under specific weather conditions. It has proven to be an important method of today's land management practices. By applying a controlled version of a natural process, we can manage forests and agricultural land better than ever. Planning a prescribed burn requires the identification of burn objectives. Once identified, these will help dictate the time of year and the desired weather conditions needed to achieve your objectives. The most important goal of conducting a prescribed burn is safety. To achieve this goal, personal protective equipment is required. This gear includes goggles or glasses, boots, fire-resistant clothing, and gloves. Make sure that you, as well as others, always wear these provisions. Controlled burns are considered good fire because of its natural benefits. However, without planning, fire quickly can become a danger instead of a tool. Since the first record of prescribed fire in the Southeast more than 10,000 years ago, humans have burning practices down to a science. This is especially true at Alabama Extension. By providing science-based, non-biased information through programs such as the Learn to Burn workshops, Extension can help you achieve your land management objectives. For more information about Good Fire, visit the Alabama Extension website at www.aces.edu.